Uh, my name is Edward Fraser. I'm the project officer for Healthwatch Norfolk, and I'm currently uh, managing a year-long project from April 2015 to April 2016, which is focusing on improving health and well-being outcomes for veterans in Norfolk and Suffolk. Well, it's it's a controversial issue, and there are lots of um, different definitions for what constitutes a veteran. The definition we're operating under at Healthwatch Norfolk is that a veteran is anyone who has served in the armed forces, that's the army, the navy or the RAF, for one day. The reason we're using that definition is it's the definition that's used by the British government and it's a definition that counts when it comes to health and social care funding or health and social care policy. One of Healthwatch Norfolk's five key priorities is to pay particular attention to underrepresented communities. Um, there's a great deal of national research which has been undertaken by organisations like the Royal British Legion, which has suggested that uh, veterans may constitute an underrepresented community. From um, October to December 2014, we undertook an initial scoping exercise which was taking a first look at the health and well-being needs of veterans in Norfolk. Uh, this scoping exercise uh, told us that, broadly speaking, the vast majority of veterans have the same level of health as the general population. However, there's a significant minority that suffer from very poor outcomes. These vulnerable veterans um, may have particular health needs, especially based around mental health, because their conditions may be rooted in uh, things they've experienced in the military. That suggests, therefore, that they may require a slightly different kind of service than is usually provided by the NHS. And Healthwatch Norfolk felt that this may be an area where we could make a difference. There are two main work streams to this project. The first is a research exercise which will be looking at talking to a sample of veterans from Norfolk and Suffolk about their views and experiences of mental health services. We'll be looking to talk to um, all types of veterans um, and their families, but we'll be paying particular attention to uh, past and present reservists, um, veterans with an alcohol problem, and veterans who are classified as early service leavers, which are veterans who leave the forces before the end of their initial uh, contract, which ranges from three and a half to five years. The overall aim from this project will be to gain some qualitative data about how these veterans would like to uh, experience their mental health services, so we can enable local commissioners and providers to design and deliver services that are more effective at meeting veterans' needs. The second part of the project will be working with key stakeholders in Norfolk and Suffolk to make sure that the national obligations towards the veteran community, which are set out in the Armed Forces Community Covenant, are being met at a local level. I hope that at the end of my project, when a man or a woman leaves the Armed Forces and comes to live in Norfolk, when they're accessing health services, they get access to health services that are culturally aware of what they might have been through in the military and what their needs might be having transitioned from the armed forces life back into civilian life.